Okay, hello Ron, this is Mr. Rob Rona here again, and thank you so, so much for helping me get to 3,000 subscribers. Maybe it doesn't sound like a lot to you, but to me that's a huge deal. And to celebrate 3,000 subscribers, I'm going to make a sequel to all of my most popular videos, which are quite random ones, and today we're going to be making a sequel to Don't Respect Jacko This Much. So in this video, Jacko had just come out and this is just some random combo into some random combo pressure with Jacko. But the point is that it's not actually very real combo pressure at all, it's very fake and I just kept doing it over and over again and this Eno player just kept standing there until they basically died. But even though the combo pressure in this video is not real and very fake and very holy, Jacko has really, really awesome corner potential for such ridiculous pressure. So. Let's look at that today. Let's look at how Jacko can get super ridiculous pressure in the corner. Okay, so to start off, we're gonna show the most ridiculous option select she gets off of her throw in the corner. So if I put Eno on to counter attack, she can either throw, do her invincible ultimate, or just do her fastest button, which I think is a crouching K. So after Jacko gets a throw, she can summon a minion and then kick it forwards with her standing close slash. And there is nothing the opponent can do to beat Jacko in this situation. Whether she does an ultimate like we're seeing here, they kind of die for that because Jacko can easily block that. Or whether they do a wake up grab or any other wake up thing, you get comboed for that. Oops. Even the fastest DPs in the game get beat by this. So as you can see, whether Eno does a wake up grab, which is the fastest thing in the game, or a wake up button, no matter what she does, she's going to get hit by the minion and Jacko's going to get a full combo and be able to break the wall super easily and get some big, big chunky damage. You can do basically whatever combo you want here, I'm, there's probably something more optimal, but even this simple combo does so much damage and if you throw an Elysion Driver it does even more. But as you can see, even when Eno goes for a wake up ultimate, if you're holding back before you do the second close slash, Jacko is easily going to block the ultimate and you don't even have to like bother reacting to it, it like just reacts by itself. So as long as you're holding back, two close slash, the slowdown of the ultimate's gonna go on the screen and it's gonna be so obvious the ultimate's happening and you can just, for Eno's instance, you have to anti-air her with like a standing P and then a good combo, but if it's Soul, just punish the DP if you've blocked it, or if it's Kai, just punish the DP and then you get a count hit combo. It's just so ridiculous, she's gonna get huge damage either way, and then, obviously, the only thing that follows is the opponent just has to block. If anything, they do waking up, whether it's the fastest buttons in the game or an invincible wake up, they have to set, sit there and block her in the corner. Which is where things can arguably get even scarier. So if I put, you know, on to just block on wake up, as you can see, you know, is just blocking now. Now, Jacko Pressure, I'm sure you've seen some of this already, but Jacko Pressure can be kind of ridiculous, and he can do stuff like this. And then obviously, in this sequence, you can just, anytime, go for a grab, and with the risk that high, even a grab is going to do some huge damage if you get a combo off of it. And obviously, if the opponent decides to press buttons in the middle of there anywhere, you're going to get a counter hit. And if their risk is all the way up, you're going to get a huge counter hit combo. And they're basically just going to melt. And as you can see there, just from them blocking the sequence and then be, like, being patient, they block the whole sequence and I went for a grab afterwards. And they, this Eno lost basically all of her health again. So whether she blocks or whether she tries to wake up with buttons, it's basically a lose-lose. Jacko is a ridiculous character in the corner, and if you get hit into a hard knockdown by her, basically you just have to cross her fingers and pray that she messes up her inputs and you can do something to get out. Otherwise, you're stuck there forever or you're stuck there until you take a huge chunk of damage. Anyways, that's a quick Jacko video. I hope you enjoyed. Her pressure's crazy. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for 3000, guys. I really appreciate it.